today is the day for cooking maids. My mommy has already started cooking maids. Do you want to see? Yes or no? Oh, you said yes. Here's my mommy's maids. My mommy's maids are being cooked. You love it or you don't. I can show you the sitting room if you like. Here is the kitchen. You see the kitchen? Now, this is the, our stove. You see the stove? Now, for the sitting room, you can see my friends playing. You see? Now, let me go and show you. Somewhere else. It's me. <laughs> bye bye. I'm still enjoying life in the village, guys. So I want to make some mindy choma or roasted corn. My fire is ready, and uh, let's get right into it. That's a uh, like four o'clock snack. Which one? The big one? The tiny one. The tiny one. Which one is the tiny one? This one? No. This one? No. This one? Yes. Oh, this one is almost ready, but don't don't kneel on me. Don't you think you'll get burnt? Uh oh. It's getting burnt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh, my hands are burning. <laughs> my hands are literally burning actually. I don't have a tongue. We used to have a tongue, but I don't know where it is. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? You want to say something? No. You don't want to say something? Yes. Do you want to say something? No. <laughs> How do you like your lines? Not good. They are for school. <laughs> she doesn't like her back to school look. Just corn roast. <laughs> the yeah, but no, <laughs> you don't like the look. I like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, guys. You see my friends here. You see. Oh, uh, you see me. <laughs> look at my mommy again cooking me. Now, see, I have a place to show you. <laughs> There's a place that's a chicken's home. One chicken was here. It lives here. You see this house? You see? Oh, you didn't see, but you did so well. I know. Oh, yes. <laughs> here is my grandma. <laughs> and here is my mommy. So, bye-bye. See you later. Hello, guys. I am the friend who was large. Hi, guys. This is what we are in Uganda. With this one, but she wants me to buy cute here. Yeah. So, the upside of living in Busia is that you can literally cross the border on foot without a passport and get to Uganda. And that is what we have done. So, all these are just shops where we come to buy stuff like clothes and uh, lotion and whatever. But yeah, this is the Uganda border. <laughs> Actually, we are not so far in. The border is just right there, but yeah, we are literally abroad in another country. <laughs> So 
guys we came back from town so lunch and i we of course we had lunch in town and uh, i just wanted to show you some part of our harvest but we don't farm from here because as you can see we don't have so much space over here but here here we only farm like uh, vegetables like greens and uh, some sort of fruits but we have another farm far away from here where we can uh, plant like maize crop so let me show you this thing else we do keep chicken uh, of course that chicken house and one time uh, when my mommy was uh, asleep uh, because she had locked up all the chicken I will just uh, show you uh, okay yeah let me tell you the story first so one time when my mommy was asleep she had uh, the chicken you know the little chicks outside crying or I don't know what the sound they make uh, outside uh, very early in the morning and she she called their help and was like how comes you let the chicken out uh, very early in the morning and she was like no I didn't do any of that uh, but I did see a very big hole at the back of the house and that is probably where they came out from and my mom was like what hole what are you talking about and she quickly jumped out of bed and she came and uh, you know unlocked the door only to find that hole that you can see right there yeah only to find that hole and all the chicken 30 of them were missing and she felt like she was going to lose her mind honestly because it takes so much effort because these are uh, organic chicken not like these broilers or layers that uh, can grow within three months no these are really organic chicken that it takes effort because for her she feeds them she gives them water she, she does everything like you know a farmer does and that was just really 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 devastating yes mama come No, she can. Yeah, so we used to keep the chicken here and here. We had some of them here and the rest of them here. And this is the big hole that was used to let the chicken out. Sad. Survive On this farm we have uh, planted some pumpkins we have some greens over here that I don't know the English name like terere we have uh, sweet potatoes we have uh, bananas we have kale we call it skumawiki in English in English yes no, in Swahili and then these these leaves we also eat these leaves actually these pumpkin leaves in our language we call them seveve and they are a delicacy so yeah so that is just more or less 
part of our life in the farm where it is just quiet and uh, peaceful and uh, less uh, not like less traffic quiet and uh, and just peaceful and uh, hospitable neighbors like like here I can't see any pumpkins because uh, what my mom told me is that the monkeys came and damaged like all of them I can't see any actually but what I know is that you get calabash I'm afraid because I don't know what is hidden under those uh, whatever under the leaves I don't want to meet a snake because I can really run and break my leg but I can't see any pumpkins I can't see any really none so yeah from what I understand is that they were damaged by monkeys and uh, this is how the sweet potato leaves look like are root vegetables okay yeah these are uh, to construction we just uh, prepare our own bricks so like here yeah, these ones are already bricks that are baked to finish the construction of this house which is my brother's house this is just one part of the house that is supposed to be a continuation on this other side yeah oh these are uh, black jacks yeah i'm trying to avoid them but that is what happens when you're walking around the farm and uh, these ones over here are uh, bricks that have been prepared but not yet baked so they they look like this kind of different That is our one surviving goat and the kid. So we have two goats left. After the incident where uh, my mom's chicken was stolen, uh, she got uh, kind of afraid and uh, she went ahead and sold all her goats because she thought that uh, maybe the people that stole the chicken might come back for, for the goats. And uh, because this one over here was uh, pregnant, with that one she thought it's not like uh, wise to sell it because she was selling them to a slaughterhouse and she thought it's not like uh, really a good thing to sell uh, a goat that is already heavily pregnant and they will just slash it and tear the tummy wide open <laughs> just in the name of meat yeah or of mutton what is goat meat is it mutton lamb i don't know yeah, so that's 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 it. Yes. For fuel, we do sometimes use uh, firewood, or uh, we use a charcoal stove. And uh, we only get to use firewood if we are uh, boiling stuff like uh, githeri or beans, the stuff that take a lot of time to cook. Yeah, and uh, that doesn't happen lots of lots of time. Otherwise, we do have uh, what what do we call this? We do have a gas cooker that uh, we use for daily cooking and for the charcoal stove. We just use that for boiling water for showering because we don't have like. Uh, like uh, solar like solar heated water or something like that so we do boil water for sharing i'm still afraid of sharing with cold water but yeah this is where we, we just store our firewood our life down here i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed just a, a little tour of uh, our farm and uh, just a little a part of my life here at home i really enjoy it because it is just it's slow and uh, easy and uh, accessible and uh, it's just something that i want to experience once in a while and uh, i thank god really for the blessing of our home